Hey everyone, Eric Stackelbeck here. Today on the Watchman Newscast, we are visiting Capernaum. It's called the Town of Jesus. It sits right on the beautiful Sea of Galilee. And we're taking you there today, just in time for Easter. Stick around. Hey folks, Eric Stackelbeck here. Thanks as always to everyone for watching, in particular, I want to thank all those unsung heroes who are on the front lines battling coronavirus right now. I'm talking about the EMTs, the ambulance drivers, police, firemen, our military, hospital staffers, nurses, doctors, pharmacists, grocery store workers, truckers, people working at your local restaurant in the drive through doing carry out. Thank you, all of you. I am praying for God's hand of blessing and protection upon you, especially during this Holy Week right now. Wow, these truly are, folks, the unsung heroes. Keep them in your prayers. Not only do they need your prayers, they deserve your prayers because they're doing a good thing in God's sight. It is Holy Week, as I mentioned. First of all, hey, Kag Pesach Sameach to all my Jewish friends around the world. Happy Passover and Happy Easter, Happy Resurrection Sunday to all my brothers and sisters in Christ who are watching. Speaking of Easter Sunday, Jesus, and speaking of Israel, we are heading today to the place that's called the town of Jesus, Capernaum. Now, it sits right on the beautiful Sea of Galilee. It's got some very, very well-preserved ruins from the first century. We're going to give you an inside look at one of them today. Folks, this is a sneak peek because this weekend... Friday, April 10th, and Sunday, April 12th on TBN and the Fox Business Network. More details on that in a second. We're going to have an Easter special from the Galilee region with our good friend Danny the Digger Herman. Now, he's one of Israel's top archaeologists and tour guides. He's a regular on the Watchman TV show. Danny takes us to Nazareth, Cana, the site of Jesus' first miracle when he turned water into wine, and then Capernaum and the Sea of Galilee for a tour through the miracles of Jesus. We will walk in the footsteps of the Savior. That's this Friday night on TBN, April 10th, Friday at 10.30 p.m. Eastern. That's here if you live in the United States, 10.30 p.m. Eastern. Then Sunday on TBN, 4 p.m. Eastern time. And that night, later that night, Sunday also, April 12th, late night on the Fox Business Network at 12.30 a.m. Eastern Time. Check it out. The Watchman Easter Special from Galilee with our good friend, Watchman contributor, Danny the Digger Herman. Here's a sneak peek at this weekend's special Easter episode with Danny the Digger from Capernaum. Take a look. Danny, it's a hot day here in the Galilee, but you know what? I love it, and I'm excited because we are at a very special place right now. We are in the place that many call the town of Jesus. Not Nazareth, where we just were and where he was raised, but Capernaum. Tell us why this place is so important, and tell us where we are right now. Well, Capernaum is the, the anchor of Jesus' activity here around the Sea of Galilee. You are now standing in front of a monumental doorway. Look wow. at the carvings. Now that is an part. arch. Okay, and wait till you see the interior. Look at this. This in fact is the biggest synagogue from antiquity ever found in the Holy Land. It was two stories high. It could accommodate hundreds of people inside. Hundreds. And this is really spectacular, especially when you think that this is the Galilee. This is not a yeah. very big metropolitan environment. It's not like it was Jerusalem or, or in Judea. Uh, this is Galilee, kind of off the beaten path, you would say. Yes, and, uh, and it's really surprising to have such a big synagogue. You said that this was the largest synagogue in all of Israel. That's stunning. As far as we know. Maybe there's even a bigger one hiding somewhere, but we found over a hundred ancient synagogues 
this is the most grand one. Wow. And especially coming from this rather not very densely populated part of the land, yeah. it's kind of surprising. That's true. Beautiful structure, by the way. As you said, two stories high. You can fit hundreds of people in here yeah. uh, in its day. Look at these pillars and yeah. pretty well preserved. These are Corinthian pillars. The stone itself is white limestone, which is okay. not natural to this area. They were bought from a quarry, which is at least 10 miles away. Wow. This was a big investment. Big investment, big operation. And this synagogue dates to? Ah, here is the problem. It actually doesn't date to the first century. It's old, but after digging and providing also dating material, yeah. the agreement among all scholars that it dates to a later period, to the fourth, fifth, or sixth century, not the time of Jesus. But they call this place the synagogue of Jesus. Well, how does yes. that work? Yes, but not this building. This building labeled as the White Synagogue dates to the yeah. Byzantine period. And when they realize it's from a later time, the Franciscans were in charge of this whole property. They started tearing the floor. Ah. They made 24 strips across this building. Now cement is covering it in most cases. This is still original stone tiling. Okay. But in those parts, in some places, they did find what they were looking for, the first century. They did. So they They're, found the remains of that first century synagogue underneath this synagogue. Yes. There is another building buried beneath this one, rectangular as well, a bit of a smaller scale, and it dates to the first century. Unfortunately, they did uh, put the, the cement to cover all the remains, uh -huh. except for one place, this corner. Okay, Let me show, show you. Let's do it. On this corner, you can see two very clear features. One, the stone is different. It's it not that imported white limestone, yeah. but the local black basil stone, right. which is also not shaped in any special way. It's just the local stones put together, but they clearly form a building. This is its corner. And look, you see the doorway over here? Yeah. Eric, you cannot rule out the possibility that Jesus himself walked through this very doorway when he attended services in the synagogue beneath the white building here. Whew. I have to take a deep breath, Danny, as you share that and really try to process that. As a follower of Jesus, the very real possibility, probability perhaps, that Jesus walked through this doorway where, you're, where we are standing right now, that's tough, to even, tough even for me to comprehend. Yeah. Amazing that we're standing here right now. For a believer, this is really mind-boggling. It is. And it's one of two buildings that with a great sense of certainty, we can associate to Jesus. Another in building Here in Capernaum. The other building in this site is identified already in ancient time as a site where Jesus healed a person, the mother-in-law of Peter. The Gospel of Mark tells us that it was near the synagogue because they went out of the synagogue and immediately entered that house. So it must be right across the way. Exactly. And they've dug all around the synagogue, but behind the entrance here, they found a building with odd features that lead us to believe that's the spot. Can you take us there? Let me show you. Let's go. Folks, it was incredible to stand inside that ancient synagogue where Jesus walked and taught just in the shadow of the Apostle Peter's home only in Israel. I said it the other day on the newscast, man, when this coronavirus passes, please set your feet on this sacred ground and visit Israel. If it's on your bucket list, check it off. The only thing better than standing with Israel is standing in Israel. So I've been very fortunate to be in Israel dozens of times filming for The Watchman Show. I think you're really gonna enjoy this episode. You got the brief taste of it there with Danny the Digger in Capernaum. Watch the full show this weekend. Again, TBN, 10.30 p.m. Eastern Time, Friday night, April 10th. TBN Sunday, uh, April 12th at 4 p.m. Eastern. Then later that night, 12.30 a.m. Eastern on the Fox Business Network. And we'll also be posting the show right here to our Watchman News channel on YouTube, which reminds me, I didn't say it at the top, I'll say it now, make sure that you subscribe to our Watchman News channel. Uh, give us a big thumbs up, like what we are doing, click the notification button so you get alerts every time we post a new video here on YouTube. We are bringing you the Watchman Newscast twice a week, every Tuesday and Thursday now, exclusively right here on YouTube. So tell your friends, your family members, your neighbors, your coworkers to check us out and to please subscribe. We're growing by leaps and bounds. We're now approaching 
70,000 subscribers, a very nice number, and we can't do it without you. So thank you and God bless all of you. Thanks again for watching. And hey, if you love the newscast, I'm telling you, check out the Watchmen television show on TBN and the Fox Business Network. This weekend in particular, I think it will put you in the, in the mood, I guess you would say, or in the Easter spirit, as if you needed it, but it's really going to remind you uh, of Jesus, the price he paid for us, but in particular, where he walked, where he taught. You're going to see it. It's going to come to life in your living room on this full Watchmen Easter special that's coming. You know, Good Friday is tomorrow. I'm coming to you on Thursday here, April 9th. Good Friday is tomorrow, April 10th. And folks, a quick message to leave you with as we struggle with this coronavirus. Look, on Good Friday, if you were an apostle, a follower of Jesus, a disciple, all looked lost. Jesus was mocked, humiliated. He was killed. He was hung on the cross. He was dead. But then tragedy turned to triumph on the third day. And I believe right now that God is going to turn the tragedy, the hardship of coronavirus. If you're out there, if you're infected, or if you know someone who's infected, all may look lost. But God is going to turn this around. He's going to work all things together for good here. He's going to draw people closer to him through this, just like he drew the disciples closer to him through the death and resurrection of the Lord Jesus. Hey, on Easter Sunday, Jesus conquered death. Surely, if he can do that, he can conquer this coronavirus. And I'm believing that he will. So be sure to check us out this weekend on TBN and the Fox Business Network. Subscribe to the Watchman News Channel and join our team at Christians United for Israel. That's CUFI.org. Join us. And by the way, we've got some great material we're posting at CUFI.org. It's called the CUFI Virtual Experience, created in particular for the coronavirus crisis, crisis when everyone's stuck at home. Uh, our CUFI Virtual Experience gives you all sorts of great original programming, videos, uh, material you can use, great information you can use to educate yourself about Israel, about the biblical mandate to support Israel, about the geopolitical and, and military situation in the Middle East. A lot of great information. Kufi.org, check it out, the Kufi Virtual Experience. Hey, happy Passover again to everyone. Kog Pesach Sameach. Happy Resurrection Day. Happy Easter also to all my Christian friends. Until next time, until next week, God bless you. And remember, never hold your peace.